Nicole and Brianna are venturing into the wild, ready to get muddy, figuring out what the FIA zebras are currently up to. New season, new props! We love props! <laughs> I can see drama at the FIA. Uh, I can see absolutely nothing new. <laughs> but somehow... The FIA manages to constantly be in the news. And so it is not shocking that in a downtime for F1 News, we have an entire Into the Wild segment to do. Uh, we have mentioned that Steve Nielsen left as sporting director in the last couple months. But now also Tim Goss is leaving his role as single-seater technical director, which means the FIA has lost their sporting regulations person and their technical regulations person for, well, singers, leaders as a whole, but to what we care about, F1. How are things crazier? <laughs> yeah, uh, the, the, both of those roles seem to be uh, like something that should be incredibly important to have in, you know, the Federation, International Federation for, you know, motorsports and things. We really feel like those uh, should be things to have, but somehow it like the outcome, I, I'm just not surprised at it all. Yeah, I, I do think we're at a state where I don't think I could ever feel worse about the state of the FIA, but it does feel like they keep they keep hitting me with things, and I'm like, ah, it is getting somehow. And look, it's not that I think these two people, as humans, as adults with a job, are crucial. It's just, of course, what the FIA needs right now is more instability. Yeah, and I think, you know, there's... The whole piece, like all of uh, the apparent reasoning of Nielsen having to depart because the FAA does not want to implement any change is like really unsettling because, you know, the FIA most definitely really needs some change. So um, it's it's concerning uh, to hear that be like the reasoning coming from any position within the FIA let alone, you know, sporting directing um, to be covering a lot of the potential like safety things that have been big concerns, just big, big scares. Also, just that he was in the role for less than a year. More big red flags uh, doesn't make me feel too good about this upcoming season of hoping that that, you know, regulating would be better. And I believe Tim Goss also joined within the last two years max. So, like, these are both people who took on very big jobs very recently, and they're now out. We also got an update on who's replacing Nielsen. Um, it's Tim Malyon, I believe. And he, uh, people have been all up in arms because he's a former Red Bull guy, but, like, they're, everyone in the FIA is a former something. So I'm not going to dive into that, even though it's fun. Uh, but... His job for the last year or so is that he's been a project lead in the FIA's like remote stewarding center that we've seen do absolutely nothing. So this guy might be great, but it really doesn't boost my confidence that the current sporting director has been in charge of the off-site FIA regulation sporting center that we've seen no positive impact from the sport on existing because things just seem to get messier since they implemented that. So again, I know nothing about Tim personally. He probably is a great guy. And like, I'm excited for him to get a promotion, but this promotion is doing nothing to make me feel better about the current state of the FIA and regulating F1. Yeah, uh, definitely also does not give me any good vibes about it. I think my opinion about who was ever going to come in as a replacement, it didn't really matter because if the big issue was that like the FIA doesn't feel like implementing change, then they'll either just have someone come in, try to do it, and once again they leave, or they're going to have someone come in that's very complacent with the way that things are. Don't know a lot about Tim, but given previous factors, maybe it could be this way or not. I don't know. Doesn't feel good is is really where I'm at for it. Do you think that this is the end of major announcements we're going to get about FIA leadership leaving? Or do you think 
this is the beginning of a trend we're going to continue to see at least over the next month or two leading up to the season. I do not feel like this is the end, um, whether it's like before the season or throughout the season, given how other things happen, if other instances go down. But usually when things, I'm a firm believer of also things happening in threes. So you're at like one, two, and then it's like, mm-hmm. yeah, it just, there's, there's something inside the house and people are starting to get a little bit fed up with it. At least, you know, and maybe that will spark change eventually, or maybe not. And who knows what it'll all come down to, but I, I don't think we're done. Yeah. I think that the, the cat is too far out of the hat or whatever, whatever random weird metaphor you want right now. And I don't mean that in people leaving the FIA. I actually mean that in F1 is now operated too far to a point like every other major sports league and every other major sports league controls its refereeing and they do it to less of a headache than what it is now. Like in every year past, I think F1 as an entity has been equal chaos at, to the FIA. So they both could kind of like be like, huh, that's your problem. Well, I'm a mess over here. But F1, it now runs itself too much like a professional business that I, I think it's going to continue to be chaos over in the FIA until F1 decides to actually leave or F1 is able to use enough political leverage to get the FIA to also operate like a fully functioning business that yeah. isn't a mess. My brain was just like, oh, look, another reason for F1 to just totally kind of tell the FIA to F off. But, you know, that's what we're seeing on this for like safari today. More drama, probably before we even drop this episode. Who would have thought? Not me. Just kidding. That's why we have this entire segment. Also, if you're only listening on audio, I don't normally uh, talk about the visual bits, but we, we have some fun new visual bits, so you should hop over to YouTube and uh, see how we've upgraded the segment this year. Thank you so much for checking out this highlight from this episode of Gridwalk. Make sure that you subscribe while you're here, like this video, and if you watch this full thing, go check out the rest of the episode. You can watch the full thing right here. Click, 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 click.